Hi! Good afternoon, and welcome to Vlogmas Day window cat. Rascal's living it up because it's a little bit warmer today because some bad weather is coming but it's gonna rain all day tomorrow and be super warm. Oh, look, he's so relaxed. Enjoy this window before it is like literally like minus 10 degrees in New York, Rask. Okay, so if you live pretty much anywhere in the United States, I think you know that there's like some crazy, crazy weather phenomenon going on. There's just like this crazy cold front blizzard slash storm coming and it's supposed to hit, I think I saw in the news, like nearly every state of the US is gonna be hit with it. So we keep getting texts from our electricity company being like, prepare for power outages, blah, blah, blah. But we're lucky because in New York, I don't think it's gonna snow like at all, which is really good only because like, yeah, it'd be nice to have a white Christmas, but also like we have to drive and a lot of people have to like drive to go see their families and stuff. So if there's like a really bad storm and snow and stuff, it's gonna make it like the roads like really dangerous. So I don't think we're getting any snow, but today and tomorrow it's gonna rain and be like super warm for this time of year. It's like it's like 50-ish degrees right now, which is like double what it was yesterday, basically. Um, well, not double, but like a lot warmer than it was yesterday. Then on Saturday, which is the one day we actually have plans because my brother and his girlfriend are coming, um, it's supposed to drop from 50 degrees. I think the low is like nine degrees, so it's gonna drop like almost 50 degrees in less than 24 hours. And then the road's gonna be super wet because it's gonna be, have been raining and it's gonna be like really icy and stuff. And then it's gonna be super cold for Saturday, Christmas Eve, and Sunday, Christmas Day. So I think that's it for New York. Like I think it's really just gonna be like warm today and tomorrow and raining. And then Saturday and Sunday, super cold and icy and temperatures like dropping, which we're going into Manhattan on Saturday with my brother and his girlfriend. So wow, it's gonna be freezing. We're gonna have to dress properly. But um, for the rest of the United States, especially the Midwest, it's gonna be like blizzard and snow and even colder temperatures. Like I saw on the news, like even like Texas, like Houston's gonna be like in the negative and have like wind chills, like places that like, I think I saw Orlando's gonna be even really super cold and Florida, like really, really cold, like crazy winter phenomenon. So we're lucky that in New York, um, we're not really getting any snow, but I think it's gonna be a bad storm even if there is no snow because we keep getting texts from our electricity company being like prepare for power outages like we're prepared for power outages so maybe we're gonna have a power outage i don't know i don't think so I they always text us that and like nothing ever happens but we'll see <laughs> there's only two days left of vlogmas yeah it's really it's crazy really weird. it always feels like the beginning of vlogmas is so slow and then in the last few days it's like whoa this whoa. is like coming so fast the new year in general that's is crazy. coming so fast it's crazy so but. if you can't tell we showered um and we probably inserted some clips of stuff that already happened this morning. But uh, basically, we're having a little bit of like a relaxing day. Like Shanna said earlier, the weather is gonna be really bad the next few days. And we're like, we could use a day just to like be home, relax, not go out into crazy weather, and like just chill before like all of the holiday craziness happens. Exactly, so that's our plan for today. Um, yeah, I think no, we're gonna- Nothing on the agenda. There's literally nothing Zero. on the agenda. Maybe like watch some things, play some games. I wanna play my video game that I've been playing the last few days. I've been playing Persona 5 on the Switch and I want to play it, but then maybe we'll play something together too. I don't know. But basically, we have no idea what today holds, so you're just going to have to stay tuned. This is the one time of year where, like, as influencers, things are, like, actually dying down. It's, like, yeah. the only time of year where I feel like nobody's emailing us. Like, we, like, have some things that we can post, but we can do it on our own time, and it's, like, already done. Yeah. So it's kind of, like, we can be a little more chill, so we should be intentionally chilling today. Yeah, this is literally the only time of year where, like, I feel like the entire world kind of, like takes off for a week or two and it's really nice for us because 
we can never take off because we work for ourselves so we're always working like no matter what we're doing like filming this video is technically 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 work even though it's fun it's still but technically it's fun work. to talk to you all obviously yeah. but at the same time like we're taking the camera out in moments where we normally wouldn't and yeah it's also fun and like creative but it's also like hard to take a breather and just like relax so yeah today, that's what we're what's doing. Happening. Keeping it simple and making us some vegan mac and cheese for lunch, which looks super good and is the perfect cozy food, but we're eating this one and um, it's delicious. You can find it at Target. Hello everyone. It's like 3.30, I think. Um, and I'm gonna wrap some Gabby's presents, or actually I guess it's the rest of Gabby's presents because I finished, all <laughs> I finished all my wrapping yesterday. But this bag right here, is full of presents that Gabby has yet to wrap. Um, so I'm gonna do that now because Gabby doesn't like wrapping. I think we maybe said this already in Vlogmas, but Gabby doesn't like wrapping and I really like it. And she's playing her video games, so why not wrap? Um, so I'm gonna take out the easiest thing to wrap first, which in my opinion is anything that has a shape. So I think something she got has a shape, yeah. Okay, so this, yeah, we got this for my grandpa. My family does not watch my YouTube videos, and if they do, I would be absolutely shook, um, but they really don't. And then, obviously, you saw the rolls of paper in front of me, but, like, whenever you have to, like, cut wrapping paper, I always um, cut the whole sheet and then save, like, whatever part I don't use because I think it's annoying when you're going to cut the roll and there's like a weird shape like on it from someone like Gabby who has cut the shape out of the roll. So I just cut the whole sheet off and then just like save the little paper. So I'm gonna see, I don't think I'm gonna have anything in this box that's got enough shape for that, no. But it's always good to check. It's really hard to wrap in a small apartment. I'm gonna tell you that now. Everything's getting stuck everywhere. Okay, so I cut the whole sheet off, then I put the roll back. Then I know that the sides here are gonna be like way too long for this box, so I'm gonna cut it again. So basically, all I'm gonna do is like measure like exactly where I need the paper to be here. And then I'm just gonna cut like some of this excess on the bottom off. Because the worst thing with wrapping is when you have too much extra paper because that's when everything gets like all wrinkled and stuff and obviously it's a lot harder to wrap when something doesn't have a shape and like things are never going to be perfect unless you like put it inside of a box but if it's already um like in a shape hold on i see that gabby did not take the sticker of how much this was but with wrapping it's always better to have like close to the exact amount of paper that you need because the, the more excess like paper you have the harder it is to like make everything look neat because then it gets stuff gets like all wrinkly when you have like too much paper. Okay, this is this is where I even mean even I left too much paper. Like I'm trying to fold it and it's getting like all wrinkly there. So <clears throat> I just need to get it good. But yeah, my mom's presents like this, I think looks pretty good. But like see how there's like a little like space here? Like my mom's presents are so flat. Like I need to try and show you one. Um when we go to my family's house for Christmas because my mom's presents are like next level. All right, so here's this present. That was easy because it was a box. But let me see, this is a gift receipt for what she got my grandma, which is this like cozy Calvin Klein, like fuzzy, um, like sweatshirt and sweatpants set because my grandparents like never leave their house um, and they're always cold because I think that they're just old. So they always need warm stuff. Okay, that was actually it. There was only two presents, one for each of my grandparents. There's other presents in here, but these are people that we're um, not seeing until after Christmas. So <clears throat> I'm not gonna fully wrap those. There are also other things in this bag or like gifts that are either presents for people that we're not gonna see till after Christmas Presents for people where we don't have the full gift, like we have part of the gift, but we're not seeing them till after Christmas, so. We're not seeing them till after Christmas, so I'm not gonna wrap it yet, because I don't like wrapping part of a gift, and then I like forget what I got the person, and then I like end up either getting more or less or whatever, so. That's in here, and then also there's like, you know, we get sent a lot of PR stuff, and get sent a lot of stuff for free, um, and a lot of times if we're not gonna use those products, we either donate them or give them away to like people as gifts, or like to our friends or whatever, so. We have some of those 
um, in here too that we were like thinking about giving as a gift to people, but I don't know if we end up, if we actually are gonna do that and if we don't get, sorry, a rascal came in here and I was like, what's going on? And if we don't give them as a gift to people, then I think we'll just put them out on the street for free because that's what we do in our neighborhood. If you've been watching our Vlogmas and just our vlogs in general for a while, then you know that's just like what our neighborhood does. It's like one of our favorite things about our neighborhood is that um, everyone puts like stuff out on the street for free. Um, like everyone in our neighborhood does that. So like we got like so much stuff in our apartment like that. Like my favorite thing that we've gotten on the street for free was our printer. Like we found a, we literally were about to like buy a new printer because mine was like from when I was in high school. Then I brought it here when like Gabby and I moved in together and it was like not working and we needed a printer. And I was, we were literally like looking on Amazon for new printers and that day we go out and there was a printer on the street and it said free on it. And there was literally ink inside and the person put all the wires that you need also outside. So me and Gabby were like, oh my God, we're taking this. So we like carried it home and I set it up and everything and it works. Like a free printer. Like, are you kidding? And it was even better than the printer. Like we had, it has like Wi-Fi and stuff. Um, amazing. So that's usually what we do with like free stuff that we get gifted that we're not gonna use because we never like throw it out. Like that's such a waste. So we were gonna give it to some people as gifts, but I think we, well, we did do that. But I think all this, the stuff in this bag is like all the extra stuff that we are not going um to give to people as a gift see this gift is going to be harder because it, you just saw it was closed and it has no shape oh all right so i think this is actually going to be enough with the remaining of this so this roll will be done but i think this will be the right amount of like across let me just make sure wow look at this this is like perfect last roll i have to cut the bottom but that's gonna fit all right great this is our first year not going to curacao after christmas like every single year since i've been dating gabby well actually for gabby's whole life this is her first time spending new year's in new york ever period but for me it's my first time since dating gabby spending new year's or basically any time after christmas um in new york because we normally go to curacao like the day after christmas or like soon after christmas and this year we're not going because i actually don't know if we said this in the vlog already but um we're not going because it's gabby's grandma's birthday um in like the middle of january it's like towards the end of january so we're gonna go to carousel then instead and it's like it would have been too close for us to like go twice and also the flights to carousel during the holidays were so expensive like normally we go to carousel for like three to five hundred dollars round trip which is like fairly normal price but the flights that we were looking at to go around this time of year were like eighteen hundred dollars which is insane um because the flights that we booked should go in january were like 350 each so absolutely insane travel during the holidays is crazy so we were like um yeah i don't think we're gonna go to carousel during the holidays this year we were like kind of upset about it because like we love spending New Year's in Carousel. Like they do New Year's really well. Like it's um, it's really fun. Like they do a lot of really cool fireworks. Like, and obviously it's like tradition for Gabby and also for me now, but like obviously for Gabby especially, it's like tradition to go to Carousel on New Year's. So we were like, what the heck are we gonna do? And we still have no idea what we're gonna do for New Year's. Um, let's see, we still have like a week to decide what we're gonna do, but it's just so weird being in New York for New Year's, I don't know. Like it's weird because, um, a lot of people come to New York specifically for New Year's because like they watch the ball drop and like there's a lot of fun stuff to do in New York around New Year's but if you live here and you have grown up knowing all of that it's not really that exciting like I think going to Times Square and watching the ball drop is like probably a once in a lifetime opp opportunity for most people and I get it but for us it's like it's crowded it's cold um, you have to stand outside in Times Square, which is like the literal worst place to be in New York. Like, it's just not really fun. And everything in the city during New Year's is like, um, you have to like get tickets essentially because of like every place, like a bar or whatever, they have like parties and you have to like pay a ticket to get in. And like sometimes drinks are included and sometimes they're not. So it's like really expensive to go out on New Year's. So it's just like a whole big thing. So I think some of our friends, um, who live in Brooklyn are just gonna go out like in our neighborhood. Um, so we, we might join them and do that, but who knows? Maybe we'll come up with like a random really fun plan. But yeah, that was just me chatting while I wrap presents. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Anyway, this was the 
thing that was from my grandma. So like, as you can tell, because it's like uh, not, didn't have a shape, it was like much harder to wrap. I feel like from the front, it doesn't look that bad, but from the back, it's like not perfect, but could be worse, you know? Oh, I'm gonna put all this stuff away now and make Gabby write tags. <laughs> So while Shanna was helping me out and wrapping, I've honestly just been playing my game all day and relaxing. I drew a little bit this morning, but then when I was done with that, which is like my favorite relaxation activity, I was like, I really wanna play my new game that I got for the holidays, so I'm gonna show you. So yeah, I'm playing Persona. I'm playing it on the TV now instead of like on the little Switch system with my little, with my little remote control, but usually I just play it on the system and it's so freaking fun. I love it. Oh my gosh, my hair is crazy. Anyway, that's what happens when you shower and do absolutely nothing to your hair, which is what I did. But anyway, um, suddenly we were sitting and like hanging out, Shanna and I, and I got super in the mood for sushi. So she actually ordered us some sushi for dinner, which I'm so excited about because like I said, I was exactly in the mood for that. So I'm just waiting for it now, but that's gonna be a super yummy dinner. So we're switching it up tonight and Shanna's gonna light the menorah. Baruch atah Adonai Did I do it? Yeah! Malach Hainu Malach Asher Kedishanu Vamitzvotah Vitzivanu Lahavliknu Shehanu Ka Look, baby, you're so good at the song now! I'm gonna get this candle in. Is that okay? You have to put it in good. Did you shove it in good? I don't know. You don't want it to fall and start a fire. I don't know. I'll double <laughs> check that. Good, but double check. You did such a good job doing the song. I like the song better because um, it's easier to remember. Yeah. Happy fifth night of Hanukkah, baby. Mwah. Happy Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. Look how pretty you lit this. Okay, Looks so back. nice. I can't believe it's already the fifth night of Hanukkah. That's freaking crazy. Um, this sushi looks so freaking good. And also this place made like veggie, sh sh how do you say it? Sashimi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this place made veggie, veggie sashimi rolls. I'm never going to say that right, but it looks crazy. I've never gotten anything that looks like that anywhere. It looks so good. Yum. Let's go eat and relax. <laughs> Today has been so relaxing. Much needed. Much needed. Sushi.